Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question three of ICSC Computer Applications Paper 2019. Uh, write a Java expression for the following. So x square plus two x y and mod. Okay. So math dot abs will give you the absolute value. Okay. And then you have x square plus two x y. So x square plus two into okay x into y x square plus 2xy absolute so this is the answer going on to question 3b write the return data type of the following functions so starts with is a function of the string class okay so the return type here is boolean for part 1 part 2 random is a method of starting method of math class and return type here is a return type here is double okay returns a value between 0 to 1 okay double value moving on to part c if the value of basic is 1500 what will be the value of tax of the following statement is executed so if so this is a ternary operator so basics is greater basic is greater than 1200 then tax is 200 otherwise 50 otherwise 100 so basic is, basic is 1500 1500 greater than 1200 is true so this part is returned okay so tax is equals to 200 okay part c is done moving on to part d okay give the output of following code and mention how many times the loop will execute okay so i have int i i starts with 5 goes then greater than equal to 1 and i minus minus i percent 2 is equals to 1 continue okay okay so there is no condition where i where the loop breaks for any given value of i so i takes values 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay so i you can do something like this i percent 2 i percent 2 is equals to 1 and you can have a small console here so i starts with 5 okay i percent 2 is equals to 1 5 percent 2 is 1 this is true if this is true then continue so you skip okay so this is not printed for i is equals to 5 you move on to i next value of i which is 4 4 is greater than equal to 1 is true 2 1 true true i percent 2 is 0 so this is false so this con the continue is not continues under the if okay so this value of i is printed with a space and there is no print element so make sure that you don't change the line after you print so 4 and a space this is a space then we go to the next value i 3 i is greater than equal to 1 is true i percent 2 is 1 this condition is true then we continue okay then move on to the next value of i which is 2 and just a second let me write the console here okay so this is the console here so we had a 4 and a space space so okay we were at 2 so 2 is greater than a true to i percent 2 is 0 okay since this is false so this is not continued and we print i plus space of 2 and space okay this is false we move to 1 this is true i percent 2 is 1 this is true okay since so this is true we continue move on to the next value of i i becomes 0 0 greater than equal to 1 is false so basically 4 space 2 spaces printed okay the output so output is this and the number of times is 5 okay and it is asking you how many times the loop will execute so you have to in, in, in include the uh, run times of you have to include include continue also because for every value of i the they, the control goes inside the loop so the number of times loops continue is 5 4 3 2 1 which is five times okay so part d is done difference between call by value and call by reference so call by value is uh, when the value of the actual parameters are copied into the formal parameters and changes made to the function are within the function which is called are not reflected back in the caller whereas changes made in this call by reference is reflected back so you can write something like this that 
value of uh, actual parameters are copied to formal parameters and both parameters that is actual and formal point to different memory locations whereas with call by reference both actual and parameter actual and formal parameter point to same location same memory location so change is made in the function which is called by call by reference is reflected by any, back in the column method so so changes are are reflected back back in caller whereas changes not reflected back back in caller okay moving on part f says give the output of the following so math dot max returns the maximum value of the two so this will return 16 and then math dot sqrt 16 will give you 4.0 so make sure that you write 4.0 and not 4 because the return type of math dot sqrt is a double value okay so point zero will indicate that's a double value moving on to g string s1 is equals to phoenix x2 is equals to island okay system dot out dot print ln s1 dot substring 0 dot concat s2 dot substring 2 so substring method you know substring method has uh, when it takes one integer so it collects the substring from the given index so s1 dot substring will start collecting the characters in s1 from the index 0 so it will collect phoenix till the end from 0 till the end so s1 dot substring will be phoenix okay dot contact will dot concat will concatenate this string with this given string so s2 dot substring 2 is s2 dot substring 2 is 0 1 2 substring wing inside 2 which is land l so this gives you land so basically your first print ln is phoenix without any space l a n d and you change a line because it is a print ln so change a line okay you can say maybe change, this is a change a line but don't uh, make this arrow type of thing just indicate that change line okay so phoenix land is done then system dot out dot print ln s2 to uppercase so s2 is this to uppercase converts all these characters in this string into uppercase so i l a and d and again change a line okay because this is print l so part g is done moving on to part h if i had laid the following expression if the value of x is 2 y is 3 z is 1 so v is equals to x plus so x is 2 2 plus so value of x is 2 y is 3 and y is 3 and z is 1 so 2 plus minus minus z minus minus z is pre decrement operator so i reduce the value of z by 1 and then use it so z was 1 z becomes 0 okay so plus 0 plus y plus plus so this is a post increment so i use the value of y first then use it then increment it sorry so i using the value of y first y is 3 and then in and then i increment it so y becomes 4 okay plus y so y became 4 so plus 4 so this is equals to 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 9 so v is equals to 9 part h is done moving on string x is equals to artificial intelligence it's an array so zero location is artificial intelligence one is iot two is machine learning three is big data give the output of the following x of three so zero one two three so this is big space data 
and then you can write change line because there is a println part one is done system dot r dot println x dot length so this will print the number of strings in this array so one two three four this is four and then you can write change line because there is a println okay okay so what is a meant by a package so package is a you can write it's a mechanism to encapsulate a group of classes so basically package is a group of classes so you need to write either it's a collection or a group of classes it uh, packs a pa it packs a set of classes together okay you can uh, use uh, some terminologies like this an example is java dot util okay or java dot lang okay so part j is done so this was all the answers for the section a and i hope this video was helpful so please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching